I'm sure you've heard someone somewhere mention this in the past few days, but it is looking more and more likely that Microsoft is actually going to be buying TikTok AKA that weird app that no one under 30 understands at all. And I'm gonna try and avoid as much of the political side of this as possible and really focus on really the tech industry side of this and why I actually think this is gonna be a big win for Microsoft if they do pull this off, why that's the case. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in big tech in terms of competition. And I think this will just really add an entire new element. You'll have really a lot of major uh, social media sites now that all will be owned by big tech companies. You might think that's good if you own these tech companies. If you're probably anyone else, you might think that that's a little bit bad in terms of getting monopolies formed and stuff like that, but we're gonna go over all that. So the basic background of the story is the United States government is getting extremely concerned when it comes to China and information security, and they are very concerned that TikTok, the wildly popular social media video app, if you're not familiar with it, they're very concerned that this information is collecting a lot of data that can then be used and taken advantage of by the Chinese government if they want it at some point. And let's be honest, the Chinese government, they almost certainly would take advantage of it if they felt it would be helpful to them. And as a result of all this, Donald Trump said that he would use his executive powers to look into banning TikTok. And he said he really wanted to do this because of the concern about Chinese spying. But then Microsoft then stepped up and apparently other companies too are looking to do it, but Microsoft's the big contender. They stepped up and said, you know what? Actually, we want to buy TikTok. And the current status of the story is that Trump said, yeah, you know what? Actually, that'd be fine if Microsoft or another American company bought it because that would ensure that, you know, everything would be American controlled, all the data it would be in the United States. China would have nothing to do with this. That would be fine. However, he did put a time limit on this and said that by September 15th, this deal has to be done or else he will just ban it after that happens. So Microsoft really is expressing a lot of interest. They even announced a press release t saying that they are interested in doing this, which is very unusual, I think. But I also believe the reason for that was to kind of prevent them from banning it prematurely before Microsoft had a chance to do it. They're like, yeah, we're serious about buying this. Please don't ban it yet. And it seems to have worked because now it does seem like they are in negotiations to buy this. But one important thing to note is Microsoft apparently would not be buying the entire TikTok brand and all their operations. They would basically just be buying the brand name and all the operations, all the servers, basically can completely run it in the United States and a few other countries, namely Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So from my understanding, ByteDance would have the rights to the TikTok name, blah, 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 all the operations, everything going on outside of those countries. And the US would completely separately be operating it basically as a separate company. It would just be the same name, but it would be an American company in the United States. That's my understanding of it right now. Now, one kind of important thing to note is that TikTok operates in the United States. So they have United States employees. They have a building, I believe, in the United States. How would it be possible for the United States government to ban TikTok in the United States if a lot of their operations are in the United States? How is this possible? Now, I'm no legal scholar, so I'm gonna try and explain this as best I can. Basically, before TikTok, you had an app called Musical.ly, which eventually turned into TikTok. Musical.ly was kind of the same thing. You can think of it as an earlier version, same idea, but it was a company that was headquartered in China, but apparently was pretty much all based in the United States. From my understanding, it had a lot of operations in the United States. And then ByteDance is the company that came along and bought Musical.ly, turned it into TikTok, and all the US operations basically stayed in operations, but ByteDance is also based in China. Now, in 2017, when ByteDance acquired Musical.ly, they didn't go for approval to the United States Committee for Foreign Investment. I don't believe they had to, obviously, because they were able to do it without this approval, but I think it probably would have helped them now if they had done that. So basically, ByteDance ended up buying all the US operations of TikTok, and I believe that's why they have jurisdiction now. They're kind of using that leverage that, hey, you didn't get approval for this. It was American operations with American employees, all this stuff, and we didn't give you approval, even though it wasn't necessary. They still probably should have, apparently, in hindsight. Now, another question is, wait a minute, this is a Chinese-based company. How can the United States government do anything to threaten them? They can't shut them down. They're based in China, but all the operations are in America. I believe all, like, all the servers are mostly in America or stuff like that. So the government could say, no, but we're going to actually force you to shut down all your United States-based operations, which is pretty much everything anyway. I believe they could 
could also put ByteDance on a certain entity list that would prevent American companies from doing business with them, which obviously would be a huge detriment to them because I'm sure they use a lot of other cloud services like Amazon, Microsoft, stuff like that to run all their servers and stuff. So they would be in big trouble if they were not allowed to do business with American companies. So while you're probably seeing a lot of headlines saying that Trump is forcing ByteDance to sell TikTok to Microsoft, that's really not the case. I mean, they are indirectly. They're not able to say you have to sell to this company. The other option though would be that TikTok becomes completely wordless and then ByteDance loses all the revenue, all the worth of that company and it goes to zero. So they're forcing them indirectly to do it because they're saying if you don't sell to another company that's based in America, then it's gonna be worthless. So you better do it. But it's not like they can legally force them to sell to a specific company or stuff like that. Though again, that's just my understanding based on what's going on. I could be a little bit wrong about that, so let me know down in the comments if I am. So why exactly does Microsoft want to own TikTok? Why would this be really good for Microsoft in my opinion? And that is that Microsoft has really been kind of slacking in terms of social media. I mean, they do own LinkedIn. That's a pretty big success. But Facebook has Facebook and Instagram and Amazon has Twitch. Google has YouTube. Microsoft, they, I mean, they have LinkedIn, but that's not so much as I consider a social media site. I mean, I guess it kind of is, but you're not posting, you know, your everyday activities on LinkedIn. I mean, I'm sure some people are. I could be completely wrong about that, but you get the idea. They're, it's a very different type of social media site. So Microsoft seems to be at a disadvantage here in terms of like data acquisition. Social media sites are very important for acquiring data, which can be used for all sorts of stuff, advertising, whatever you want. Microsoft would then be able to just not have to worry about setting up a social media site and hoping it becomes popular, putting all that risk. They could literally just go buy TikTok, which is already wildly successful, and just have that all set up. And all they really have to do is just be hands off with it. Maybe integrate it a little bit with some other other products like Xbox and stuff, but really for the most part, just don't change anything of it and they'd be good to go. They'd also have a lot of access to the younger generations, which, I believe are kind of shying away from stuff like Facebook. You know, they're probably on Instagram, but Facebook, from what, from what I understand, is starting to maybe skew a little bit to the older side. At least that's the way it feels. I think a lot of social media sites are having difficulty getting genuine data and signups from the younger generation, and TikTok is pretty unique in that respect. I also think if Microsoft did buy it, and even if they didn't really change it, it would add a level of legitimacy to TikTok, which could cause, cause it to grow a lot more than it currently has. So right now, TikTok, everyone sees it as that weird app that only kids are using, and it's owned by China, and they're spying on everyone. Everyone kind of has a negative connotation of TikTok, and I think this is probably even among people who use TikTok. I think they probably are a little bit weary about the fact that China does own it, but you know they just like it too much to stop using it. So I think if Microsoft did buy it, and you know Microsoft is a pretty trusted company, so I think if American company buys it, all the operations are in the United States, people would say, oh, you know what, it's safe now. Maybe I'll just see what it's all about. And then of course they all get addicted to it and it could just take off in ways that, you know, we have no idea how it could. And I know that even if TikTok, the company is based in the US currently, and they claim that, you know, they don't send any information to China and they don't bend to the Chinese Communist Party, whatever, it's like, yeah, okay, but you definitely would have to if they told you to, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, they say all this and maybe they haven't done anything yet, but it's almost like a matter of time. And really there is no way you can ever trust a Chinese company 100%, you just can't. And you might think, oh, well, what information does TikTok have that would be useful? Well, one thing, facial recognition. I mean, companies around the world, including governments and Chinese government is looking to use facial recognition to train AI, you know, they'd be able to recognize people. I mean, that's valuable information. Who knows what they would do with that, good or bad. They're basically just getting a unlimited sample of people's faces from all over the world. That is extremely valuable. Also, when you sign up for TikTok, if you choose to give them access to invite friends to your contacts, then they have a list of everyone's contacts. Even if you didn't give them access, and even if you've never used TikTok before in your life, if someone on your contact list that has your contact information gave them access to their list, then now they know that you're associated with that person. So they probably have a ton of 
contact information about who knows who in the United States and around the world. That's also extremely valuable. TikTok also can use GPS location to tag posts, but also who knows what they're gonna be doing with that in terms of tracking locations and stuff like that. I mean, these are information that could be extremely valuable with nefarious purposes that we can't even imagine. Now, I have no idea how much Microsoft will be willing to pay for TikTok. I think I've seen estimates of TikTok being worth like 50 billion, stuff like that. Honestly, that could be possible in the future. This is probably a highball estimate, but I think that because TikTok is looking to be completely banned in the United States, then it's probably worth a lot less than that because it's a distressed seller. Basically, you can think of it like if they don't get anything from this deal, it's gonna be zero. So whatever they can get is better than nothing. And there has been some criticism, you know, China obviously is not happy about this happening. Microsoft is like, yeah, we're gonna get a deal on this. But I also think that if they offered something that's too low ball, then they might just hold it up in the courts. They might try to sue to block this from happening and they might just fight it and hope for the best instead of just a completely absurd low number that may as well be zero anyway. So I think they're gonna probably offer a fair price. I've, I've seen like in the billions probably is definitely gonna be it, but I don't know, I've seen one billion, two billion. I think that would be a bit low. I mean, wasn't Instagram sold for one billion back in its infancy? Now it's worth way more. A billion would surprise me, that'd be cheap, considering that Microsoft has like $122 billion in cash and short-term investments. So they can definitely afford probably whatever price they put up. So we're just gonna have to see. I am personally pretty excited about this. I think that if Microsoft buys it, it would be legitimizing the TikTok. I think it would be great that we have all this information now based in the United States. I mean, I am, full disclosure, invested in Microsoft as well as basically every other tech company out there, you know, all their competitors. But still, you know, this is exciting. If any tech company that's American buys TikTok, I would much rather have that information in the United States where at least we know, you know what you're getting if a company in the United States owns it instead of with the Chinese, Go government, you really don't know what they're gonna do with it. You don't know when they're gonna take the information. You don't know if it's safe, no matter how safe they say it is. So we'll just have to see what happens. If, let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll be sure to read those down there. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.